Max the Star, Dick Godier, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Della Reese, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flag. As we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Rayburn. You got some friends out there, John. Thank you, friends, for joining us here, and thank you for joining us because it would be lonely without you. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Are you all quite ready? Yeah. Well, look at her. <laughs> nice to have you with us. I'd like to say something. What? I'd like to say what a pleasure it has been playing with Della Reese. Even though she has been doing my acting Vegas for years, I love her. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, sweet. Yes, you're yes. marvelous. Thank you. And I've loved everything you've ever done. Every song you've ever sung, every talk show Thank you've ever hosted, you. you're just terrific. Thank now, you. what do you say? I like you in Gypsy. What's that? Oh, come <laughs> on. Yes, she wasn't in Gypsy, you she rascal. She knows it. Say hello to Mary Van Meer and Bart Hamlin. Here we are. Now, Mary Van Meer is a current champion. She has won uh, one game, and you got $600, right? And the game that you played against Bart Hamlin here, young fellow who's going to cycle across America soon, uh, ended in a tie. He's had his tie-breaking question matched one of our celebrities, so you appear to be in the driver's seat. All you have to do is match one to achieve another tie, two to win. We'll see how this tiebreaker turns out in a moment or so, but right now this. Pay attention. Here we go. Bing. All right, Mary. Listen carefully. One to tie, two to win. Dear Dr. Dumkoff, <laughs> my wife has grown feathers all over her body. What should I do? Sign, puzzled. Dear puzzled, blank her. <laughs> Truly easy question, wasn't it? Nothing to that and one. And I finished. Oh. And okay. Charles is finished. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Now, Mary. Dear Dr. Dumkoff, my wife has grown feathers all over her body. What should I do? Sign, puzzled. Dear puzzled, blank her. Pluck. Pluck her. Okay. Okay. Plucker. Plucker. There it is. There's the tie score now. <clears throat> One more, and she wins the game. Really? Yes. You know what I say? You brought her, you plucker. Okay. There it is. Again, and here you go. This is your second time around here. You're getting to be a veteran, and Bart, I'm going to shake your hand. It's going to be a courageous thing you do if you ride your bicycle across country. It's going to strengthen your heart muscles, and you will be a better person for it. And we're going to send you some gifts to your home Thank address. You go, don't, don't move while I'm talking to you, Bart. I'm still talking to you, Bart. Hey, Bart. I wasn't finished talking to you. What do you mean walking out when I'm in the, right in the middle of a sentence like that? Well, we'll never what do you do? see him you again. Suddenly, what are you doing here? You're loitering. You're under arrest. Come with me. No, Mary Van Meer, listen, you've got $700 now. You're going to have another go at the big money super match here where you could win over $5,000. you are aware of all that. Let's get right to it. We polled a recent studio audience, Mary, and we got their best response to this. Smoking blank. Now, the answer that studio audience gave most frequently is worth $500 if you match it. If you match a middle one, you get $250. And their third most frequently given response gives you $100 if you match it. We'll see which one you match first. Let's get some answers from our celebrities. Richard. Something that Charles has in his pipe at this moment, a smoking jacket. Smoking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's been smoking a jacket for the right. last four months. Well, the, so there's one for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Charles. Charles, what do you say? Smoking, oh, that's, yeah. Isn't that cute? So I said smoking downstairs or in the outer lobby, please, but that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> smoking. Honey, I wish I could help you. Smoking. Oh, that's good. 
Wait a minute. Yeah, I see no, wait, that. Something's coming to you. I can tell. Yeah, but it's 1934. <laughs> what? Yeah, there were a lot can of I get in on the discussion? <laughs> Smoking car. I guess Smoking I guess. car. They have those on trains. All right, that's not bad. Thanks. It's not bad. It's now thanks. look them over. <laughs> and may I make a suggestion to you? It's entirely up to you, Mary. Look into their eyes and choose one who has a reasonably intelligent expression on her face. <laughs> then, you, then, then you're liable to come up with an answer. Look at me, Mary. Maybe Look them the over. Audience. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I was going to choose Dick. Uh, all right, Dick. Well, I have a very intelligent one for you, which happens to be smoking section. Smoking section. That's right. Let's hear it. Well, they have those in airplanes and all that sort of thing in restaurants. So you got smoking section, smoking oh, car. Oh, I got a beauty. That's okay. too late. Too late. Smoking section, smoking car, and smoking jacket. You may think of a better one. Jacket. Jacket is the one you want? No. No. Too late. You said it. That's the one she wants. All right. It may or may not be up there. We're going to find out right now, Mary. Look over there at the big board. As we reveal the $100 response, smoking. <laughs> Does that say something about it, folks? Favorite answer? You can't smoke pot. <sighs> <laughs> okay, here we're trying to be intellectual and square and American and all that, and there they go. Anyway. There, that week when we did that survey and this smoking pot came up, we had a hundred little old ladies from Upper Montclair, New Jersey. <laughs> and they all said smoking pot, remember? Okay, we are looking for smoking pants. jacket. May we see the $250 number? Oh, you got it. Congratulations. Now, you got $950 altogether. What do you think is up there? I don't care. Prohibited, somebody said. That's not bad. What was your inspired idea? Permitted. Smoking permitted. permitted. All right, slide it, please. Prohibited. Very good, audience. Now, you're going to play for 10 times 250 or $2,500. You have to choose one celebrity and match that person exactly. 2,500. Richard. Richard. Okay, stand on the tape, face me. Here we go. Worth 2500 Richard. And here it is. Texas blank. Texas blank. Texas blank. Now, Mary, he's finished. Get your ESP transmitted over to Richard Dawson. What answer did he write on that card? Say it. Texas... Ranger? You got a pretty good response from the audience. You said it with a question mark in your mind and voice. We'll put that question to Richard now. Richard. Well, there are many because it's a big state, isn't it? Texas yes, it Longhorn. Is. Right, Texas Longhorn, that's right. Texas Oil, Ranger. Ranger! Now let us all applaud our new player here, Mary Money. Hello, Mary. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Now, Mary, we'd like to find out a little bit about you. You can begin by telling us where you're from, if you wish. Okay. I'm from Independence, Kansas, if you can imagine that. Yes, I can imagine that. Okay. Was that the home? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it, no. no, it wasn't. Independence, Missouri was the home of Harry Truman, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, I am a teacher yep. at the junior high level, and I'm married. My husband's sitting in the audience right now. All right. Raise your hand, sir. Okay, gotcha. What do you teach? English. You do? Well, I hope We've you'll teach two. these people a thing or two. We've had two this week, and I'm very happy to have you with us. Anything else you want to tell us? No. All right, I'll push the button, Mary, and we'll begin by asking you to make your selection. B. B it is. B it is. B it is. B it is. Oh. It is. Louise said, mm -hmm. oh. all the romance has gone out of my marriage. Oh, oh sweetheart, I love My it. husband but... used to look in my eyes. Now all he does is look in my blank. <laughs> The romance has gone out of the marriage. 
My husband used to look in my eyes, now only does is look in my blank. Oh, those are such sad questions. Yes. Oh, so look at my... Look now all he does is look in my blank. He used to look in my eyes, now all he does is look in my blank. Wonderful. She's a wonderful person. Yes. You're a wonderful person. You have to sit next to her for any length of time. All right, everybody ready? Okay. Charles, are you finished? Yes, sir. All right. Mary. Louise said, all the romance has gone out of my marriage. My husband used to look in my eyes. Now all he does is look in my... Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> That's not a bad answer, Dick. What'd you say? It's not a bad answer. Mine happens to be a heck of a lot better than that. No. What have we got? Sorry. I said, looks in my purse. Purse is very good. Purse would be the definitive answer. What do you say? Do you know what's wrong with America? What? They keep relating to money, which is a terrible thing. Oh, I agree with that. Refrigerator. Oh! Oh, you rascal, you snuck up on me with that one. Charles? I could tell the audience plenty, but I won't. Pocketbook. Pocketbook. So we have two of those and one refrigerator, and Mary is looking for that. What do you offer, Della? We have three of those pocketbooks. Three pocketbooks. My husband used to look in my eyes, now all he does is look in my... Do I hear two purses? Two purses. <laughs> oh, one up there. One up there and one down here. Fanny, what do you offer? Oh, I beg your pardon. Well, no. <laughs> No, I uh, unfortunately said purse. Purse. Oh. All right, that's one for you, Mary. Now, Mary number two over here. Mary Van Meer, you ready? <laughs> farmer Brown said... He said, well, that new farm hand I hired isn't going to work out. This morning I saw him trying to blank my pig. Pig, <laughs> dear? Farmer Brown said that new farm hand I hired isn't going to work out. This morning I saw him trying to blank my pig. Just First round questions are difficult, money. you know. That's okay. Very good. Splendid. Excellent. Oh, you're all wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jim, having fun. Della. You're doing oh, it. Oh, I, said, I don't even know what you're talking about. Here we go, Mary Van Meer. Farmer Brown said, that new farm hand I hired isn't going to work out this morning. I saw him trying to blank my pig. They're gonna hate this. They're gonna hate this? <laughs> you want him to boo in advance and give your answers in <laughs> silence later? Why don't you boo? Okay, now when she gives a rotten answer, I don't want to peep out of you. Do you understand? <laughs> okay, give your rotten answer. Roast. Roast my pig. <laughs> I said no booing now. No, you said no peeping. Oh, no peeping, yes, that's what I said. What do you say? Milk my pig. Milk my pig. Say the guy's not going to work out. Say, is it is a new farm operator going to work out? Right. Okay. Brett? Now, this man happened to be a very, very, very good friend of Betty White's. Oh. <laughs> and an animal lover. He wanted to marry the little pig. <laughs> marry my pig. <laughs> oh, dear me. Hello, Charles. <laughs> he wanted to make love with the pig. Make love? <laughs> well, no comment. Oh, comment? No comment. <laughs> Hello, Della Reese. He felt that after he had married and made love to the pig, it was just time to slaughter it. Slaughter the pig. <laughs> That's why? It's getting closer. It, it is getting closer, <laughs> yes, to roast. But now you're back to letter A, milk. Milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> now, Fanny. He wasn't strange. He didn't want to marry it or make love to it. He just wanted to dance with it. They're wonderful <laughs> models. <laughs> That's a sure. So there we go with round one. Now let's see what holds what we have in store for us for round two. Mary? B. You want B? One person was matched. Brett, you do not play. Everybody else oh. does. Not only do you do not play, you will not speak. Oh, okay. All right. Tick tock. Can I sing? Yes. Doc said to Marsh Dillon, Hey, you do, Doc. You do, Doc? He'd... No, you do, Doc. Doc said to Marsh Dillon, Man, I, I can't do a thing for you. That ain't, uh, that ain't Doc. Well, it's the only Doc I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> One duck I do. One duck I do. <laughs> <laughs> Doc said to Marshall Dillon, he says, Matt, I can't do a thing for you. Doc, that's Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I can't do a thing for you. You better go to a veterinarian. You have blank. <laughs> Doc said to Marshall Dillon, Matt, I can't do a thing for you. You better go to a veterinarian. You have blank. Very good. Yes, yes, that's terrific. Excellent. So much. Right. Okay. 
Ready? That was so much fun. Ready. I can't do this. Okay. Mary Manny. Money. Mary Money. Yes. That's interesting that you have the long A. Money. Yes. I would be uh, tempted to say Manny. Dr. DeMarshall Dillon. Matt, can't do a thing for you. Better go to a veterinarian. You have blank. Swine flu? Swine flu? <laughs> well, yeah. You got a nice laugh, but you're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It's a story of my life. I'll say hoof and mouth disease. Hoof and mouth disease. What do you say, uh, Charles? I chose fleas. Yeah. Fleas. All kinds of diseases here. What disease do you offer? I chose hoof and mouth disease. Hoof and mouth disease. Better name a disease before all the good diseases go. No, I've got your basic H and M, hoof and mouth. Hoof and mouth. Okay. Fanny. Hoof and mouth. Hoof and mouth was the disease. Hoof and now mouth. we've got to stop right here for a second or two and do a little business with America, and you hurry right back and see what happens next. Here we are. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the Budapest String Quartet during the intermission. Now we'll go on and finish this game. Are you ready? Yes. You know what you have to do? Match one to tie, two to win. This is it. Everybody plays. I'm Sally said, I just made my ex-husband a birthday cake. And as soon as that bum cuts into it, he's going to get a big surprise. The cake is full of blank. <laughs> Sally said that. I just made my ex-husband a birthday cake. And as soon as that bum cuts into it, he's going to get a big surprise. The cake is full of... Right. Right, right, right. Okay? Full of... Well, come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Right. Wait a minute, I got it. I have another. You're going to change? Sorry, I've already changed, sweetheart. Oh, you have? Okay. Now, Mary, Sally said, I just made my ex-husband a birthday cake, and as soon as that bum cuts into it, he's going to get a big surprise. The cake is full of... Can we try a different one? <laughs> <laughs> no, there ain't no more there. That's the best I can do. The cake is full of... He's going to get big. He's a bum. That ex-husband. He's a bum. Going to get a big surprise because the cake is full of... Rats. Rats. Oh, rats. Oh, they're rats. 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 The queen is dead. Long live the queen. Well, well she drew a blank, and she said, but she said something. She said rats. She said rats, A yeah. perfectly that, dreadful answer, but it, it was is. something, wasn't because it? Because mine was manure. Oh, manure. Okay. It's a wonderful recipe by Betty Crocker. Have you ever tried it? Yes. <laughs> Hello. You know, to quote Fanny Flag, I almost said rats. No, you didn't. <laughs> I said dynamite. Dynamite. Dynamite is the answer, Charles. How come that's the answer? Well, that's a good answer because, you see, she hated him, ex-husband, and he's a bum and all that. He cuts a cake, and the cake explodes, and that's the end of him. Alimony check stubs. <laughs> Alimony check stubs is very good, too. It's better than dynamite. Very creative. Stay in show business, at least for another 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Della. Hello, in the words of the Black Prince, Dynamite! Dynamite! Right, you got it there. Okay. You gotta match one to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Mary Money. And you thought you blew it there. Here we go, Richard. Dynamite. Dynamite. Last chance with Fanny, Mary Van Meer. Here it is. Well, I thought he had a, uh, you know, a steel knife and it was full of electricity. The cake was charged up, so that yeah. means Mary Money wins the game. Tape that we got from somebody's broken arm, and uh, we congratulate you, Mary Van Meer. You got three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Mary Van Meer, there she goes. And all is getting her off. And still these messages just for you. How do you feel? Good. 
<laughs> I hope that all of you will join us again another time. Sure. Well, Thank you, Gina. Nice Would you consent party. to that? Yes. Would all of you consent to yes. joining us another yes. time? Yes. Possibly. Not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Maybe some, some of us. us. Some of us. Now, the next time, uh -oh. these are the ones. Scully Mitchell. <laughs> Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Deborah Lee Scott. Richard Dawson. And Joyce Villafon. Team Neighbor here, join us next time for Max Game 76. Goodbye.